Hello, Nomads Cult, and this video is about brush settings for the face groups. And this is a version 185 tutorial video, so you need um, the version 185. You have at the moment you have to wait for the update a few days, and yeah, let's see how it works. Okay, so I create um, a new mesh and I delete the other one, this one. So I validate the mesh and I use a little bit more topology for this, like this. Okay, we need an example. So I, here we got a new tool, the face group tool and so at the moment on the, on the left side, the dot mode is active and auto picking. Uh, we don't need auto picking. And here's the option to add new face groups for every stroke we make. So, yeah. A smiley. So this is our test object for the face groups. So now it's about the tool settings here. So first here um, here is your shading menu and in the shading menu you see here a grayed out option for face groups. So remember this. Okay. So now we use the clay brush and here in the shading menu by default face group is off. So you see here your normal mesh and your normal shading without face groups. So when you use now the clay brush here on the mesh it looks like this and when I activate the face groups you see also the face groups are affected by the brush stroke. So I go a step back and so now we use here the face group view for the clay tool. So and now I, I make the brush a little bit bigger. So and now I start sculpting here in the blue face group and you see the, the orange face group is not affected. So it's something like auto masking the mesh. So here when I start in the pink face group, it only sculpts in the pink face group area. Okay, so you find the setting here in the filter settings of the brush. Here um, you see the face group option and this filter here is yeah, for, the, yeah, for the stroke here. Um, so when auto function is on it starts here in the blue area. When auto is off you can sculpt normally and when it's on yeah it's um, by default then uh, only acting on the face groups so when it's so now I turn the face group off here and remember here now face group is on but you can see here a face group but when you brush here because it's on, the face group is working. So this is a little bit complicated. So um, when face group is active and you turn it on auto, then it works like this. And when I turn it off and it's on auto, uh, it reacts like this and when it's on, 
yeah, it starts only. Yeah, it's a complex thing. So, uh, but you, I hope you understand how it works. So, okay. I use the auto function at the moment. So, these are uh, so normal tools like brush tools here. Um, there are the filter settings for the face group. And there is um, one tool here, I think it's only the smooth tool. So here you find in the, in the tool settings, in the main tool settings, also uh, other option for the face groups. Here, this is not a filter option, this is a vertex, um, sticky vertex on border thing. So this is how it works on the borders of the face group. So when you smooth now, you see here you get very sharp uh, borders for the face group. Like this. So and when you turn it off, then smoothing works yeah, like normal smoothing. Okay. And yeah, I turn this off. And here in combination with the filter, when you turn it on, then yeah, we can't see anything at the moment. So maybe I move this. So now again, the smooth tool. So now we turn the face group here off and the filter setting is on. So now it works like this. Filter is off. So you see the difference. Okay, so here here's the normal smoothing and now on. And the next here's the sticky vertex is on, then it reacts like this. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's nice to know where the settings are. And um, the other thing is how to use <laughs> the settings uh, yeah, in a correct way. Okay, have fun with sculpting, Joe.